Before we get started, I just want to tell you how thankful I am for all of my subscribers. We have hit 10,000 subs on this channel, and I am just like, I don't know how to process this information. Initially, when I started this channel, I expected about a thousand in a year. That was my first goal, so I am very happy that in far less than a year, I have hit 10k. So thank you for all of the appreciation. First, I want to show you how to separate first and last names from a text property. That's assuming you're using this text property to record people's names. The next thing I want to show you is how to create something like a flashcard database for Notion, where you can hide answers to questions like the front and back of a flashcard. The next thing I want to show you is how to manipulate URLs and extract certain information from them. I'm going to stop talking and let's just get right into it. Firstly, I have been building an Ancestry family tree inside of a Notion database for the past couple of weeks and have used this function to separate the first and last names of people. So as you can see, John Doe is separated into John and Doe. Jane Doe, there is a middle name initial and that is ignored with this formula. Do another name, Harriet Stone. Harriet and Stone are automatically populated. Let's begin with the first name. So I'm going to use the replace function. And what replace does is first, I'm going to grab the property I want to use this on, which is name. And I'm going to replace something with something else and then close it out at the end. The thing I'm gonna replace is everything after the space with an empty space. So what I'm gonna do is create brackets, put a space between these brackets and what this tells it is I want everything after, which is signaled with the dot star. If I wanted everything before the space, it would go before these brackets dot star. And you get that last name. It can also work without the brackets. So now that we have that, let's actually copy this, put into last name and just change that dot star to the beginning. Of course, these formulas will be down below in the link in the description for you to copy and paste and look at more closely. The next one is gonna be flashcards. So how this works, it's a little bit of fun. I don't know if it's the most practical and the best way to go about using Notion, but it is fun and it is an interesting way to push the boundaries a little bit. So what we have here is each entry is a question. And then I have a property for the answer to that question like a flashcard. And then I have another property for typing the answer. This is where you're prompted to guess what the answer is. I have another property here that hides the answer, a property checkbox when checked that reveals the answer, a correct formula that sees if the answer typed matches the hidden answer, and an override checkbox um, to override the correct answer. So what I wanna do inside of this hidden answer is I wanna say if, property reveal is false, then what I want to do is replace all. I want to replace all of the answer. So every instance in answer, I want to replace elements inside of it with something else. Everything that is between a capital A and a lowercase z, so that is taking all letters regardless of case. So A through lowercase z and Let's do numbers as well, just in case your answer has numbers. So zero through nine as well. And this is all within the same bracket. What I wanna replace all this with is simply just a plus sign. If it is not the case, so if reveal is true, not false, we're gonna add a false condition at the end and just show the answer. So that means we want it to be revealed. Close out that if statement, and this is what we're left with. And I'll just pause right here if you wanna take a look at this. So now, if I click reveal, it will reveal the hidden answer to me. Let's figure out how to um, get this type answer to correlate with the correct checkbox. So going into correct, the formula, what I first wanna say is prop type answer equals property answer. In this case, it will be correct. So this is the answer and it is correct. If I reveal it, it is correct. I also want this to check true if override is true. So I'm gonna say this or prop override. I could say prop override equals true or just leave it as prop override. We're gonna do equals true just so it kind of makes more sense to look at. 
So again, if answer has a case issue, I can click override and correct will tick true. The next thing I wanna go over is a bit more complicated. So what we're gonna do here, and I think I've gone over this before on this channel, with saving tweets and from the URL, extracting a Twitter handle and um, the publication or the website, which would be Twitter. There's two instances where I may want to extract the Twitter handle. If I save a tweet, which is this bottom URL example here with status, or just save the handle from a profile link. First, I wanna show you how you can take the handle out of a profile URL. You're going to replace everything in prop URL, replacing this with that. And what you're replacing is everything before, so dot star dot com slash. What you can also do here is just say slash. We'll keep that in mind. But as you can see down at the tweet link, it is a bit different. What we need to now do is take away everything after slash status slash. With the tweet link, I wanna say replace inside of the URL, everything after slash status slash. So that's after that um, handle there. And what I wanna do is replace everything after it. So I'm gonna say dot star at the end. And you can see um, we're getting closer to extracting this. I'm going to nest another replace and we're gonna do the same thing we did before with the dot com slash. So this with that, and this is nesting replaces together. The next thing I wanna do after removing that status, I'm gonna say dot com slash. So again, everything before, so dot star is before it, and replace it with an empty space. So now in both instances, we will have the extracted handle. Doesn't matter what type of URL it is. Now with the publication, we can do the same thing with this nested replace function. So first what I wanna do is say replace everything in the URL. That is before this double slash. This with that. So dot star double slash and we will have Twitter at the very front instead of the HTTPS. Now from here, we're gonna replace again, and we're gonna replace everything after .com. So again, like before, this with that, we're gonna say everything after .com, and then say dot star. And there it is. Pretty simple formula, and this will grab your publication. Now this is a text, so you can add emojis to it. Like you can add an emoji to the beginning of here, maybe a section symbol in quotations. So that's a pretty complicated, I guess, way of using formulas in Notion if you are more of a beginner. I hope this gave you at the very least some inspiration to advance your Notion workspace. And again, thank you so much for subscribing. I also want to say that if anyone has donated to my Buy Me a Coffee, I just want to put out a blanket thank you. I am going to go in and do personal thank yous. I've been able to upgrade my space here because of those donations. I got a new mic. I got a new light. So thank you very much. I am happy about the trajectory of this channel. I am really happy with the content I'm making. Of course, does that mean I'm going to make this content forever? I'm not really sure. Seeing as things change over time and programs come and go, I most likely will be changing up my content at a certain point. But right now, I am very content where I'm at. So with that being said, I will see you guys next week with a new video and the rest of the week on Twitter.